You are hard to look at. You look like the topographical map of Utah. Exactly. Sam, down, like a said freeze. You won't be the one in the up on the deep. Please, if the only thing you can do is came off the plate, stay out of the way. I am very turned on right now. And how do you jump from Game of Thrones to Transporters to that port? Well, in the middle of that, there was a movie that I shot in beautiful Paris that was, I was a fashion photographer in a Danish independent movie. I was a music manager in a 90s Britpop film, Kill Your Friends, and uh, I was a burglar in a film called Tiger House. So there's many things, and I suppose the nature of our job is to jump between them. I'm a person who doesn't try to be versatile, but I just like, I'm a creative person, so I like challenges, and I like to, experience different things. I love getting lost in the imagination of the characters and geeking out and weirding out and I love doing all the research and stuff. So, you know, people say to me, what's your dream role? And it's like everything, oh, wow. everything and anything as long as it's well written and with a great director and great writers. And I'm lucky that I had that on this wonderful project. Is there a superhero you would like to play? Yes, there is definitely. I mean, there's, there's a guy called King Mob from The Invisibles, which is an incredible, mm -hmm run by Grant Morrison, he's, a, he's like a cross between Bruce Lee and the Pet Shop Boys. He's an incredible person. He's trained in, he's a master of every martial art in the world and a master of Kam Sutra. What did you have to learn for this movie? What was I had, the training? I had to learn Kali Eskrima, which is a Filipino knife and stick fighting. I had to uh, brush up on my English boxing skills and, you know, luckily, the stunt coordinators and my mentors, uh, Rob Alonso and Phil Silvera, they taught me so much. You know, you're only as good as your teachers, and so um, that's why I was able to put in a half-decent performance, I hope. Ajak could be in many other Marvel movies. Do you have any offers? That nothing has been said so far. There is an option in my contract that I think that Fox do to, uh, you know, keep a hold of the character and stuff. and for the possibility of a cameo role in something. Uh, nothing has been talked about so far, but in the wonderful and bizarre world of Marvel, anything is possible. Um, Orion said that his uh, custom was just uh, weapons, basically. Mm -hmm. How about yours? Can you talk about Mine was functional, you know, it's uh, military-based and it was all to do with functionality, which meant it was great to wear. You know, I had very comfortable, big, boots and you know for the fighting it was great and the trousers were baggy enough that I could put my, my, my knee pads and my protection underneath it as well um, and very comfortable and, and pretty damn badass as well so um, yeah I loved my, 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 my outfit. And how long did you have to be in the mask? He was like seven hours. Yeah I how didn't I would walk in and spend about 20 minutes in makeup oh. um, and I would spend about five minutes putting my costume on so I was very very lucky in that regard. Did he hate you? But <laughs> the fight scenes You'll have real. to ask him that question. But in the sense that, you know, when we did the fight scenes, he was there for six hours before. And I would come sort of, you know, five hours into him being there and just be there for the last hour getting ready. So, you know, I think that he's a trooper and it's a sign of what a gentleman he is and what a great human being he is. He never complained. How do you explain the success of that point? Because I think Tim Miller, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick and Ryan Reynolds and hopefully the rest of us supporting cast made it a great product and great products win and crap products bomb. So I'm, uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding as such and uh, I'm very proud of what they and, uh, and we have achieved. You are haunted. You look like an avocado had sex with an older avocado. Thank you.